Hi, Candace here. Got a few shares. I am working on these um, most recent um, Rolodex cards for this month. And if you want to see how to make this, this is supposed to be like a galaxy. If you want to see how to make the, these, go over to rangerink.com and check out their blog. That's where I found this. You use alcohol inks, um, alcohol inks and um, that's that was it. Just the Rolodex cards with alcohol inks and then a little bit of paint on a paintbrush. So um, I, th I think they're coming out cool so far and I'm very excited about this month's cards. But I also wanted to share some Happy Mail. You know how awesome it is when you get some Happy Mail like unexpectedly. Um, first I got this beautiful card from Sybil last week and I really appreciated this. Um, I love her coloring and the white embossing that she does and then coloring it in. It's so pretty. So I love that. Thank you, Sybil. And then, um, I don't know if any of you know Shirlene, but I am just opening this package and I'm just going to show the back of it. Let me put down a piece of scrap paper here. I'm only going to show the back of it so you can't see our addresses, but um, I just, I'm just opening it. Um, Shirlene has a, is, she's Shirl's Crafty place or I'll get it for you I'll make sure to leave a link below but she's also got a periscope um, she's she's on periscope which I don't really use but I did get on there to check her out and she does some live videos so those are kind of fun Ooh, look candy so let me let me get into this this is it's so fun receiving things unexpectedly it's just really it's amazing Look at all this. It's like Valentine's Day. It's a heart on a stick. Super cute. This is what my eye goes right for. I don't know about you guys, but I love chocolate. So let me get in here. We've got some candy kisses. And I think my grandbaby would like that. He's going to make a mess, though. Hmm. Try not to give him too much sugar, and that's really big. But normally when I give him something, unless it's like an apple or a banana, he won't eat the whole thing. He's not super into sweets, which is a really good thing. Cupid's heart candy. Yum. And then, of course, these, which, you know, I would say Hershey's Kisses are one of my favorites. Thank you, Charlene. So I'm going to eat one, and hopefully it won't bother the... Uh, the video too much if you hear me sucking on that. So, really cute. Look at that. Love is patient, love is kind. Shirlene is a fellow believer. Some hot chocolate. Oh, and a, and a candy um, spoon. It got broken, but look at it. It's a candy spoon. Like a candy cane. So it's probably mint, I'm guessing. What a cute idea to mix your hot chocolate with. And then here's the card. So if you don't know Shirlene, she is probably, um, thank you, Shirlene. She is probably my number one fan. She comes by quite a bit to say hi and then also to pick up a few things from the store and so I should just so appreciate that Shirlene the support that you give me and um, and just how sweet you are she definitely helps to promote the store on her periscope oh look at this this looks homemade too this little pocket um, I don't think Shirlene knows this about me but I am a mail artist. I have been part of a lot of mail art groups and and so this this looks like an almost like an envelope. It just reminds me of some of the mail art that we've exchanged so I probably put that in with my mail art stuff. And look at this. Look at this. Oh look at that. It's even got that's handy. That is really handy. Plus, I use these all the time. I have, 
I have these and so this is great. Look how cute that is. CS. It's got my initials. I love the color of this cardstock. See how the gradient color of this cardstock goes from pink to blue. It's really pretty. Thank you, Charlene. I sure appreciate your heart and your heart for the Lord. And look at that little, again, reminds me of the mail art. It's so cute. Anyways, thank you for the beautiful note and the blessings and for sending me all these goodies. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'm going to have some giveaways coming up, so stay tuned for those. And head over to rangerink.com's blog and check out how to make how to make these. It was fairly easy. It did take me a little bit. And what's interesting about the alcohol inks is that they have quite a bit of, um, when you layer them, it gives quite a bit of texture even on plain cardstock. So it was really fun. So thanks for watching, you guys. See you at the store. I'll leave some link be links below for you to go check out. Thanks a bunch. Have a great day.